There are two elements to this part of the prayer, and the second builds on the first. The first is a simple prayer for forgiveness, one that we're called to make as often as we say the prayer. The second connects the forgiveness we can receive from God to the forgiveness we extend to others. What are we asking forgiveness for? This is the line of the Lord's Prayer, where the traditional and the contemporary language versions are most different. The traditional version has the word trespasses. Forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. A trespasser is someone who crosses a line to walk where they should not walk. The word in English carries something of the meaning of the words in the original, but not everything. It communicates that what we are asking forgiveness for is our wrong actions, the times we really have done things wrong. But the Bible makes it clear that we need to go deeper. We often need to seek God's forgiveness for our thoughts and words as well. So is sins any better? It's not a word in common use anymore except in religious contexts. It translates the word found in Luke's version of the prayer, which carries the meaning of missing the mark or falling short in our behaviour. It's a deeper and more comprehensive term than trespass. Some English translations attempt a more literal translation of the term used twice in Matthew's version of the prayer and once in Luke. Forgive us our debts. The same meaning is caught brilliantly in the parable of the two sons which follows Jesus' saying, about forgiving another person seventy times seven. Debts carries the idea that something is lacking and something is owing in our relationship with God or our relationship with others. The parable also helps us get into proportion our own debt to God with the debts others owe to us. Whatever term you prefer, the deeper notion here is that our sins can be forgiven. We should not think of God forgiving us as an easy matter, any more than it's easy for us to forgive other people. For God to open up the way of forgiveness to us meant sending his Son to die on the cross for our sins. The Lord's Prayer at this point would be meaningless without the Lord who gives us the prayer and who gave his own life so that we can be reconciled to God. The parable of the two lost sons and their father would be meaningless without the Son who told it and whose sacrifice makes reconciliation possible. The parable of the two sons makes clear the need for two kinds of reconciliation in our relationship with God. The younger brother represents the journey of the person who comes back to God after years of rebellion, wandering away and going his own way. The elder brother represents us all as we continue in the Christian life. There are moments in all of our journeys where we realise that, even though we are part of the family, we need to seek the Father's forgiveness and love.